Y'all rocking with it, man. Shoo, sheesh. My first gel blaster. That full auto is crazy. But sheesh, that fire rate is amazing. I don't know how to shoot this. Just hold, hold the other trigger. Just like this? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Nothing's coming out. Oh. <laughs> Good, bro. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today we got a very special unboxing. As y'all know, I mostly collect BB and airsoft guns, but today we're switching up a little bit with this. I got my first gel blaster. This is like a splatter ball gun. If y'all know what those are, I'll probably get one of those soon too. But mostly for my videos, I only use my Glock airsoft pistols. So I'll probably end up giving away all my other guns, like my AK, Beretta, Uzi, and shotgun. So if you want a chance to win any of this, make sure you follow my Instagram, at Eastside Givens. You feel me? So I'm gonna get rid of my guns that I don't use and start collecting like paintball guns, gel blasters. So like I'm actively using them on my channel because I haven't used those other guns in a long time. So. But let's get into this unboxing, man. This box is very light. All right, so I ordered some gel to come with it. This is the ammo right here. These little beads, all you have to do is soak them in water and they absorb the water. It's like Orbeez. I ordered a two pack. It was like probably like $15. So these are actually glow in the dark, which I'm excited to see. So that was one. And then here it is right here. And Stoy Blaster. This product is a plastic toy loaded with water gel beads that will break tickly when it hits its target. I think they like had like a little air or something like that, bro. But yeah, made in China, read the rules. Ages 12 plus, so I barely made it. Thank God. And there it is, man. So you gotta assemble it. Ooh, when it comes with eye protection, we love to see it, man. I don't gotta wear my swimming goggles no more. Let's go. Some fresh eye protection included. I appreciate it, man. Looking real spiffy in my jaws. Let's keep going. Uh -oh. So I just remove the bubble wrap, basically. Oh, wow, it actually comes with its own beads. I got a lot of ammo. I'm gonna be shooting D-Boogie up. All this looks confusing, I'm not gonna lie to you. The scope look hard though. Look at that, y'all. That's hard. Got a little charger cord. Got a little handle right here. The battery. Here's the actual gun. Oh, oh, this is where you load the um the water beads in. That's lit. Um, the stock right here. Magazine, looks like a um, high capacity magazine where you like crank it at the bottom of the air saw. Got the little orange tip, you feel me? Safety first. And what is this? Oh, they send you more gel BBs as well. So now I'm up a lot of bees. Like that's a 500 count right there in the 500. So this is another thousand BBs. Shout out to China, man. They looking out with these BBs. I'm calling them BBs, but it's really like orbs. You feel me? And it does come with a sling. It got the sling connection right here. So you feel me? if you want to rock the sling, go ahead. That's it right there. It got instructions how to assemble it, but I don't think I'm gonna need that, man. So this is the base of the gun right here. Pretty hard. All right, so I'm pretty sure you just twist it. So there we go. And then magazine. This piece, this just slide in, don't even twist or nothing. Just slide right on like that. Scope, you just gotta twist this and then loosen it. And then you can adjust it accordingly. So I'm gonna slap it like right here. Twist it, tighten it back on. That's tough. I haven't even put the stock on yet. Like, slap that joint on. Oh, it's adjustable too. Oh yeah, that's slick. So this is adjustable stock. You just pull this, you can go all the way in, you can pull it out a little bit. 
all the way out. So that's lit, like. That's lit, bro. So here it is, all assembled. Oh no, I still didn't put the handle on. So with the handle, you just twist the bottom, slide that on, and then you feel me? Just twist it back to adjust it and tighten it. So now we really got it real built. Everything on, all the attachments. Got the handle. Y'all rocking with it, man. Shoo, sheesh. Gel blaster, my first gel blaster. I love the wrap, bro. Like the orange color, like that's pretty sick. This jump built pretty nice. The assembly was really easy. I didn't have to look at the um, instruction manual, but I love that adjustable stock. Might go longer, like definitely gonna be getting active with this. Here's a better look at it. Just everything attached. This is real lightweight, like. They probably weigh like maybe a pound and a half. Like this thing, like two pounds. The mag release, where the mag release at? Mag release on the right side. Push that, slide it out. Where you put your little Orbeez at. Just come together. But yeah, man, I'm rocking with this joint so far. Like it's pretty lit, I'm not gonna lie. So the entire instruction manual is like in Chinese on both sides. So you feel me? I don't know about y'all, but I can't read that. So what I just did was I put the charger on the charger. So I know that's charging. All right, so I got a bowl of water and everywhere I've seen, it said that they got to sit for four hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump out one of the ones that they gave me. So boom, that's 500 shots right there. The glow in the dark was kind of stink like they smell toxic. God. I feel like, you feel me? You can put these in water and they'll absorb it. But what if you put like lemonade or if you put it in something different, like put it in pee and then shoot somebody with it. It's nasty. All right. So I don't want to waste too much. So there's a lot of glow in the dark and then there's 500 from the other one. So I'm going to save the rest of these for challenge videos and stuff like that. But I'm going to check back in four hours, load those up, shoot them and load up some of the glow in the dark ones and see what happens. Three hours later. It's been charging for a while now, so I'm assuming that it's good to come off. All right, so all you gotta do is unhook this piece right here. Click that, it slides out. So this is the battery part. And to attach the battery, all you have to do is remove the adjustable stock and the battery clip to connect it is inside. So if I can get it, kind of got to play with it a little bit. You got to stick your finger in that hole and play with it. So you can get it out. I might have to use like tweezers or something. There we go. So I fished it out. There it is. See a little connector piece. So now it's connected. And then I think you just want to slide that back on in. So it slides right back in. Battery sits nice and snug. Load that stock back on. The mag is not drop free, so when you press the button, you actually have to pull it out as well, but I think the Orbeez go in right through the back. See it with my hand, just gonna load them up. I'm gonna just call this the Orbe gun, like Orbeez. Then you lock that back, and I think you just press it, press it, press it, press it. Yeah, pressed it, and if you could tell, little gel bead. So yeah, it's loaded now. So let's try this thing out. I feel like it's only right that we shoot D-Boogie first and go see how he likes it. Oh, oh, that hurts. Damn, all right, so like, if you stick your hand right next to it, bro, that don't hurt, but like. Oh, that's lit. I don't know what I was thinking, but I just shot my TV in the GOATS video, you feel me? But you can see the little spot that I left on my TV. 
wipes right off so you feel me all right so yeah when you first see me put the scope on i did put the scope on backwards so this is what it's supposed to look like you feel me i was just in a rush putting it on but i also learned that this fire selector switch has multiple modes so when it's facing towards the barrel it's on full auto you can hear it shoot if you point it towards the stock of the gun it actually lets you make it a springer so you see right here if you pull that down you can make the gun spring power so that's pretty lit it's electric and it's a springer but when you have it off of you feel me this mode on the fire selector switch like if you turn point it up you can't pull that back anymore it locks back only when you have it pointed towards the stock is when you're able to pull it back so you feel me that's lit i love the full auto shoots crazy fast i'm loving this this is my first gel blaster like i said i'm definitely looking to get some more the glow in the dark gel beads are amazing like look at this this whole thing's full of beads i've been making here's the beads lights off magnificent look at that guys isn't that so cool i think it's time to go shoot debuggy with this thing if you die you're getting shot bro, tighten up, bro. Watch out, nigga. it don't even hurt that bad nigga, bro. you shoot me i'll punch you in the face on my life like i'm not bro come on bro bro don't die stop being weird bro all right so i just shot my own hand like right next to the barrel but D boogie does not want to get shot because he's such a baby bro i don't know why but i guess i'm just gonna have to shoot the wall or something because he don't want to shoot he don't even want to shoot me i said come outside i'll shoot you you can shoot me whatever he's like no 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 i'm a baby so you feel me we just gonna have to get right make any noise yeah So you see them, they're exploding on impact. You can kind of see where they're breaking, like right here. See that? My finger's wiping it off. This thing's so lit, bro. All right, so I loaded up again. Still got a lot of little um, water beads left, but I'm gonna go outside with it. Yeah, all you gotta do is like, hold it right here. Okay. Then, yeah. I don't know how to shoot this. Just hold the, hold the trigger. Just like this? Yeah. Okay. Down, nigga. I can't. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Nothing's coming out. Oh. <laughs> Nothing's coming out, bro. What the fuck, bro? Nothing was going out. Okay, ready? <laughs> My aim is so good, bro. I was murking. <laughs> it don't hurt that bad. Like, if it, you're close up, like on my hand, that joint was stinging. But this joint's lit. And it was only like, I think it was $80 on Amazon, $85. And the BBs were, or the water beads were like probably 15 There was like probably a thousand that came with it. I ordered the extra ones that glow in the dark. So you don't even have to do all that. You could just order this for like $80 on Amazon right now. Um, I linked it in the description if y'all wanna check it out. There's other ones too. I might get into them so I can get my brother one so we can have a war, but. Y'all see? That full auto is crazy. You can see the bullet drop off right when it gets to about those leaves. But sheesh, that fire rate is amazing. Let's see if we can... I can kind of see him exploding. Shoot his window. Y'all see him exploding? Barely leaves behind a mess. Like, y'all can see the orange build up from some of the beads, but... Most of them just explode and like evaporate almost. You know, the drop off rate is actually not that bad. It shoots like a good 20 feet, 
but then after 20 feet it starts to drop off so if you're getting into a war with this like the furthest you could probably shoot is like right there like where i'm shooting at that brick line right here so you for me you gotta get close with your friends you can have a nice little water bead fight I'm loving it, man. Can't wait till my brother let me shoot him, though. He's such a crybaby. I'm going to see who can stand right there and take it the longest without tapping out. So we're definitely going to do that video soon. I know a war with these would be so fun. So I have to get another one for my brother. But, you know, any ideas, suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. I appreciate you guys for watching the whole thing. And I'm going to catch you in my next video. All right, I'm about to dump out the rest of the water and load it up. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. That's going to clog the drain.